guys, what is up? Waffle Nation here, and I'm going to show you a pretty quick tutorial on some really cool commands. So, as you may know, sand is actually not a block, or well, falling sand at least. It's actually an entity. So when it's falling, it's not on its grid, which means when it's not an actual entity. So, you may know of the slash summon command. For example, we're going to summon a minecart right here. So it's very simple. Summon, minecart, and then your coordinates, which is just three above the command block. Like that. Now, when you want to summon a falling sand, let's take a look at this command. The entity is called falling sand. It has to be exactly like this, capital F, capital S. Then you do the coordinates. I have it 10 above the command block. And you have to have this string, these two strings, time and tile ID, or else it will not spawn. For some reason, you have to have it a tile ID, or else it technically is not a block or anything in Minecraft, so it will not summon. So right now, I have a tile ID as 101, which basically is iron bars, I think. Yeah, it's iron bars. And then time, right now, is at 3. I don't know why I have it at 3. Basically, if it's 1, it means yes, and it's 0, I, it means no. So if it's at 1, when it means yes, basically it means that it is an actual entity. Basically, time is time it has in the world, yes or no. So if it's no, it will not have any time in the world, literally, it will not spawn. So here's our iron bars, they fell from the sky, and I want you to see that one more time, it is not an actual iron bar when it's falling, it's kind of messed up, but it looks kind of cool. So when it hits the ground, it will become an actual entity. If you have, yeah, actually if you have this at zero, let's see, it will not spawn at all. So, you have to have it at one. Alright, so next one, what we can do is not only can we summon it, and you can use this for a whole lot of things, I can come up with a whole bunch of different ways you can use this in like a adventure map or something. You can also make it ride any mob of your choice. So you add the string after, and take out the curly bracket here, add a comma, and add the riding string. It's just riding, colon, curly bracket, ID, colon, and then your mob. So your mob will go right here. I have it at zombie right now. And then after that, you do two curly brackets. So let's see this. So it will basically be on its head. And you might notice that the block is actually slightly enlarged by, I'd say, 20, 20% uh, enlarged, the size of a normal block. And it will go on top of his head. And let's see, if you kill him, it will fall off of him and become a block. So that can be pretty useful. Now, I want to show you that one more time. As you can, I want to show you this one weird glitch. You cannot hit his head. He's basically invincible above his shoulders. You have to hit him down here. And then that block will drop. So now, there's a couple ways you can actually do this. I summoned a zombie, and instead of iron bars, this is a cr really cool trick. He has something white around his head. You kill him. It's actually redstone, which looks a lot like blood, which can be really cool to use. This trick was actually, I found it on Dragnose, the, the YouTuber Dragnose. He has a really cool channel. You might want to check him out. Um, he came up with this with his friends. It's really cool. I think he used it in one of his maps. The only problem is, for some reason, the redstone is white when it's on him. But that's not really a problem because you don't really see it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I can come up with a whole no bunch of other ways you can use falling sand. I might do some more videos on falling sand later, but this is pretty much it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. See you all later.